Welcome to So Sensible. Today we're going to make a gift envelope. For Christmas I got a book in this cute little satin envelope and I thought that looks so simple I could make that. So I looked around the house and I found some upholstery scraps and some curtain panels that somebody hemmed to be smaller. So I got those for free and I got the swatches for free. So this is a really sensible project. I also had a tassel that I saved from a pillow that my dog chewed up. Um, but I thought the tassel was still great, so I thought I'd find another use for it later on. And here we are, it matches perfectly. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is get a piece of paper from a paper bag or something like that. And you wanna measure up a design. I chose this one, which was 21 by 11. And if you, and when I say 21, what I mean is the point is 21 and the width is, oh, look at that, I added a quarter inch too. 21 by 11, it's, it's a rough estimate. It was a good size for a book series that I was reading uh, by C.C. Hunter. And what I love about this is that you can actually put your books in it and carry it around with you. You can um, just to have a safe place for it to be. So it's not just a gift bag, it has multiple uses, but it is a great way to reuse um, a reusable gift bag. Okay, so first we're gonna do is cut this out. And see, this one doesn't fit all the way. So I'm going to have to sew these together to make it complete. Okay, so the first thing I did was take the two swatches and remove the paper from it and then sew the seam together with a zigzag stitch to flatten it out. Okay, now we're going to do it again with the lining. And since we have a heavy fabric here, I don't really pin it all the way around. I just kind of get it sort of in place. Okay, so now you have both sides. And take all the pins out. All right, so there they are. And you're just going to pin the two together, pretty to pretty. All right, so it's all pinned together. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start sewing here and we're gonna sew all the way around back to here, leaving this part open, about five inches open, so that we can turn and flip it. If you want to put a tassel in, you wanna wait until you get right there. This is the tricky part and you just want to go really slowly and just catch that tassel right at the end, but you don't want to get anything else. What's great about the tassel is it is going to kind of weight it down so that it stays closed or open. It's not necessary, but it's fun. So we're just going to take it over to the machine and sew all the edges. You just want to use a straight stitch for this. The satin might be a little bit slippery, so just be ready for that. Okay, so we have it sewn together. And I have a little overage, so what I'm gonna do is just trim that off. See how it slipped. It really doesn't matter too much 
about the sizing because you're just gonna, unless you have a specific gift in mind, it's gonna be great. And you can clip the corners if you want so there's less bulk. And I think what I'm gonna do is zigzag stitch because you can already see that it's starting to fray here. So I think I'm gonna zigzag it real quick. All right, so now you've got it sewn and you're just gonna reach inside and flip it inside out. You're just gonna hand press all the edges. Okay, so now it's inside out, or right side out, and I'm gonna have to close up this seam. All right, so you're gonna close up your seam with a straight shot, but I'm gonna also just sew all the way around so that I have a nice crisp seam all around the edges. And you're just going to fix the seams as you go. You can pin the whole thing if you want to, uh, in advance, but I feel like that's just like a time suck. So I'd rather just fix it on the machine and then get along with the sewing. Okay, so now you should have something that looks like this. And this is the last step. Let's see. Decide which side I like better. I do kind of like that better. Oh no, that's it right there. That looks beautiful, look at that at the two different pops of color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew it right down here and sew it right down here, and then you'll have your pocket, okay? This one you should probably pin, so I'm gonna do that. And the reason why you want to pin it is because you wanna make sure it's level. You're gonna make sure you reinforce the stitch too at the top of the pocket because you wanna make sure that it won't break as it's being opened and closed. And you're just gonna trim any little extra threads that you may have left. Okay, and there you have it. That's how I made this envelope to put gifts in or store your book or whatever you want to do with it. Maybe even a tablet or an iPad, depending on what size you could choose uh, anything you like to do with it. Have a great day.